What is going on everyone? Today I'm starting a new type of video giving you a fast run through of all the news, leaks, and announcements that have happened for Ashes of Creation in the past month. This one being for the month of October, so let's get right into it. Kicking it off, Intrepid started the month with the Glorious Gourds Contest, allowing people to carve their own Ashes of Creation themed pumpkins, giving them a chance to win an AMD graphics card along with Alpha 1 keys. Going through a few of the winners of these pumpkins, you can see that there is a lot of fantastic and very creative ideas going into these. On October 4th, Steven took to Discord to leak us some new glimpses at content, where you get to see some new horse barding, looking absolutely fantastic, and some level 20 Empyrean armor that your elf self can run around through Vera in. Jumping into October 5th, we had the new cosmetic bundle, Woe Within the Woodlands, that gave your character some haunted cosmetic sets that are perfect for the month of October, as well as access to Alpha 2 and Beta Keys, depending on the package you buy. On October 9th, Steven dropped another tease on Discord, showing a T-Post female human rocking a new hairdo, and this was shown later in the month in the developer's livestream as well. On October 16th, we got what everyone has been waiting for for ages, the dates to Alpha 1. You can check out a more in-depth video I did here, but you can also take a look at the chart showing on the screen right now to figure out when exactly people will be jumping into Vera if you haven't already checked it out. The creative director letter that this came with also gave us some HD photos of tropical art that were shown in the previous livestream, along with a T-Post female with the new hair again, along with a male human with some new hair designs as well. On October 26th, Intrepid announced the date for their Extra Life charity stream being on November 7th at 9am Eastern Standard Time for a full 24 hours into November 8th. During this stream, there will be lore drops and Alpha 1 keys given away to those tuning in when certain donation milestones are reached. To wrap up on the month on October 30th, we got our usual live stream showing us various updates in the studio at Intrepid, including a new look at the female dwarf rocking a new hairstyle, lots of environment assets such as trees and plants, along with a bit of team PvP taking place in a castle. Although not actual castle siege gameplay, they stuck two teams inside the castle, one defending the caravan and another trying to destroy it, giving us a fun look at some early PvP combat. What are your thoughts on all the Ashes news dropped in October? Let me know your favorite announcement in the comments below, and if you want to read up or watch in more detail any of the things that I talked about, you'll find all the links in the description below. If you are new to Ashes at all and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, otherwise be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.